वेलकम बैक यू आर वॉचिंग पार्ट टू ऑफ ओ एच एस इंटीग्रेशन विथ वेब लॉजिक इन द पार्ट वन वी डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल ओ एच एस इन द स्टैंड अलोन मोड इन दिस पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू कन्फिगर रीडायरेक्शन फ्रॉम ओ एच एस टू वेब लॉजिक वी विल ऑल्सो सी हाउ वी कैन चेंज नोड मैनेजर पोर्ट फ्रॉम द डिफॉल्ट टू एनी कस्टम इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच पार्ट वन आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच इट फर्स्ट or you can watch it after this one i have put that link in the i button or you can also get that from the description if you are new to my channel don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and soa development let us talk about the architecture so we have a virtual machine that is oracle-vm.com and in the single virtual machine we have installed our web logic server uh, where we have two managed servers and as we have seen in the previous video we have installed oracle http server also as part of this video we are going to configure ohs server so that we can redirect request from ohs to web logic managed servers before moving further let us see how to change node manager port from the default to any custom port before that if your ohs component is already running or your node manager is already started then you should stop that and then do the changes so we are going to stop our ohs component first and then we will stop node manager and then we'll see how to change a uh, node manager port so for that you'll have to go to domain home then inside bin you should get stop component script so we'll run stop component component name and here you'll have to give node manager password so our component is stop now we'll try to stop node manager from here so our node manager is also stopped now we'll connect to wlst and then we'll see how we can change the node manager port to connect with wlst you'll have to go to oracle home oracle common common bin and here you should get wlst.sh here we have and you can run wlst from here once we are connected to wlst in the offline mode we can run read domain and here we'll have to give domain home so this is our domain home path for ohs domain so you can see we are inside ohs one domain now we'll have to go to machine so cd machine you can see we have a machine folder here go to local machine we'll go to node manager again we'll have to go to local machine and here you can see we have listen port property that is set to 3556 and we are going to change this for that we will run set uh, function and uh, we'll have to mention property name and the port number which we want to change so this will be the new port number hit enter and now we'll have to update our domain so for that uh, we can run update domain function so our domain has been updated and now we can run close domain command so now we are out of our domain hierarchy we can run exit and now we will check our node manager dot properties so it is inside ohs domain go to node manager and here we have node manager dot property file and you can see our listen port is updated to uh double five double five 
now we will start our node manager let's tell no hook dot out and you can see our node manager started listening on port double five double five now to configure ohs redirection we'll have to go to config so inside ohs domain home you should get config folder then fmw config components ohs and component name and here we get mod underscore wl underscore ohs dot conf so we are going to change this file let's open mod underscore wl underscore ohs dot conf and you can see uh, we have if module and the location module mentioned here uh, we will remove this and put our custom properties so we are going to add a location so whenever request come to slash console it will be redirected to uh, 7001 port on this host so you can configure this as per your need so we want to open our weblogic admin console using ohs uh, port so this rule is going to help there you can also add a rule uh, for the cluster redirection let's say you have a osb service and you want to redirect from ohs to both the nodes then you can add another location here and uh, here you can mention the context path of the service so whenever requests come to slash source project service it is going to redirect to cluster members that is running on 7003 and 7004 and you can see here we are having two managed servers our server number one is listening on 7003 and server number two is listening on 7004 so based on your configuration you'll have to put these properties in the context path you can remove source project and you can also put forward slash so whatever request come to server all will be redirected to cluster here we have put debug config info on so that we can see the ohs configuration using weblogic bridge url we'll see that once we start our component so save these changes and now we will start our component and see whether our changes are reflecting or not to start component you will have to go to domain home and bin and if your component is already running then you should restart your component so that your changes can reflect component name give node manager password here now we are connected so let us try to open console currently you can see it is running on 7001 port we'll try to change this to our ohs port that is double seven double seven and you will be able to see that it is going to redirect request from double seven double seven to seven double zero zero one and using ohs we are able to access our console url now we'll try to invoke osb service based on ohs url and uh, it should redirect request from ohs to both the servers for this we are going to use this script uh, where we have curl command and you can see we are going to call our ohs endpoint from this script to invoke this script multiple times so we are going to use watch command and we are going to invoke this script every two seconds and then you can call this script you can see it is calling this multiple times every two seconds so now we are going to monitor our access logs on both the servers and see whether we are getting requests on both the nodes or not 
for that go to your web logic domain servers server number one logs and here we have access logs we'll tell these logs and you can see we are receiving request on osb server one now let us see similarly on osb server two So this is our OSB server 2 access logs. We'll tell this again. And we are getting requests on server 2 as well. Now let us try to open weblogic bridge config URL. So this is our service path and uh, you can give a parameter that is weblogic bridge config so this is going to work if and only if your debug config is on so let's hit enter and you will be able to see your server details along with the configuration and uh, we have our debug config on here you can see and if you scroll down you will be able to see runtime statistics for the request and you can see 12 requests are processed so far and if you refresh this page uh, this count should be updated and you can see now it is 15 that's it for this video if you found this video helpful please like this video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and stay tuned for more videos related to web logic soa and administration thank you